All right, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and customize your checkout page in your Shopify store. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go into the back end of your store. I'm going to click on customize up here under themes. And if you don't already have your own store, you can go ahead and start a 14 day free trial by clicking the first link in the description. So we're going to go up here and click customize and then once this loads up we're going to go ahead and select the checkout page right here so i'm going to go ahead and come down here to checkout and we can see this is going to go ahead and show us our checkout page right here as soon as this loads up so once this is loaded right here we can see that we are presented with the default checkout page that comes with all of the shopify stores and it looks pretty clean. However, we do want to change some of the stuff to match with some of our brand in here. So if we come over here to the top left, we can click on open checkout settings. And then we get all of these different options right here. Now, what I want to go ahead and do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and open up another tab with the store next to the checkout page. Just that way we can see how we can go ahead and make everything match. So we can see right now that our buttons on our regular store are brown, which is essentially the theme of the entire store. But we can see that this button right here doesn't match that at all. So we wanna just go ahead and make all the branding in here match what your branding is out here. So in order to do that, we can come down here and take a look at the checkout settings right here. So there's a bunch of different things we can go ahead and do. So the first thing we can add is a background image. So if I were to go ahead and select an image real quick, and let's say I just select this image, we can see that once this loads up, this is going to show up right here on the checkout page once I click select. And we can see that that gives us a background image right here on top of the checkout page. And if we go ahead and look at this on mobile, it looks about the same on mobile right here up top. So I'm gonna go back to desktop right here. And then we can go ahead and go down here to adding a logo as well. So we definitely would go ahead and add our logo in. So this is where you would upload your store logo, click select, and we can see that that's going to go ahead and show up here in a second. But we can see now that the logo doesn't really look good on top of this background image. So in this case, I would go ahead and want to remove this current image. And in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and keep it blank. However, in your case, you may have a background image that you like, that you want to put up top, that your logo looks good on top of. Or maybe you have, let's say, like a white logo variation that you want to put on top of a background image. You can do that. But in this case, we'll go ahead and just keep it um, blank with the logo. And then we can go ahead and change the logo position from left to center. Or we can go ahead and put the logo on the right. But in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the logo here in the center as I think that looks the best right here. And then down here, we can change the logo size as well. So we can make it smaller than this. And right now it's set by default to medium, but we can go ahead and make the logo large. So if you go ahead and change that, we'll see that the logo will go ahead and update right here in a second. And if we go ahead and view this on mobile, once again, we can see that this is what it will look like on mobile. So we'll come back here to desktop here. And then right here, now we have the main content area, which is going to be this right here. And we can see that we can put a background image in this area if we want as well, or we can change the background color. So if we were to go ahead and put a background image in, let's say we're to go ahead and just put that and click select, and we'll wait one second and this will go ahead and load up. So we can see that this gives us a background image right here. And if we were to go ahead and look at it on mobile, we can see that this is what it would look like. So in this case, once again, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it as blank because I personally prefer to keep checkout pages uh, pretty minimal and clean. However, this is definitely something you can tweak and mess around with to see if you prefer the background images in there. And if you don't want to use an image, you can just change the color. So let's say, for example, I just want to change this to a gray. I could go ahead and do that and it will go ahead and load up here in a second. We can see that now our background for this side is gray and we take a look on mobile and we can see that's what it looks like. And we can go ahead and change our form field colors as well. So right now they're white. We could change them to transparent here and wait one second for this to update. And we can see that now it matches the background color because it's transparent. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this at white. And then now we have the order summary side, which is just this right side here of the page. So we can see we can go ahead and put another image in here once again if we wanted to. So if I went ahead and put this image in once again, we'll see that it will load up here in just a second. 
But once again, this makes the text a little bit hard to read, so I'm gonna keep with the uh, blank image right here. And then once again, we could go ahead and change this background color to something else. So if we wanted to go ahead and change it to a different shade of gray, we could click this and we can see that it goes ahead and changes the color. So now we kind of have a bit of contrast right here. So at this point now, we can go ahead and edit the typography here. So we can take a look at the headings and this will, and this is where we can go ahead and edit the font. So what I would recommend doing here is just go ahead and match whatever font it is that you're using in your store. So if you're using, let's say Helvetica and Arial in your store, then you wanna go ahead and use that here. Just so that way you can keep everything as similar as possible. And you can do that the same with the body font right here. And then we can come down here to the colors right here. So first we can edit the accents. So this is gonna be the links, highlights, and check marks. So that's going to be things like when we check off this, this color is blue, and then we have this link right here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is change the links color to the brand color that we've been using throughout our store. So this is gonna be different depending on what your store looks like and what your branding looks like. So in this case, I'm gonna be changing it to this brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the hex code of the brown. And we can see that that's gonna go ahead and change right there. And then if we go down here to buttons, we can see this blue button right here. This is what this is gonna change. And I'm gonna go ahead and change that to brown as well. And now we can see that our buttons and our text match with the branding of the rest of our store, which is exactly what we are going for. So at this point, once you've went ahead and customized all of this to your liking, you just go ahead and click save, and then you can double check that it looks good on mobile and then you are good to go. And at this point, you can customize additional checkout settings by coming here and clicking visit the admin. And this is going to open up the checkout settings within your Shopify store backend right here. And we can see here that we can edit a couple things like customer accounts, whether we want to have them disabled, required or optional. Optional is gonna be the most common choice right here. And then you can edit things like your form options. So whether you want to require last name only or require first and last name, whether you wanna have the company name option, whether you wanna have the address line to is optional and whether you want to go ahead and let them provide their phone number if they want as well. And down here at marketing consent, we can go ahead and show an option for customers to subscribe to our email marketing at checkout. And then you can choose to go ahead and pre-select the option right here, which is definitely the most common um, method to go ahead and do. And then we can also show an option to subscribe to text marketing if you have that set up as well. And then we can go ahead and put in some additional scripts like Facebook or Google Analytics conversion tracking right here. And then once you've set that up, you click save. And then from there, at that point, we have essentially customized our entire checkout page within Shopify. And if you wanna go ahead and completely tweak all of this in a advanced way, you're gonna to have to actually subscribe to a Shopify Plus plan. Then you can go ahead and actually go in and edit this code and make a bunch of different tweaks. However, uh, Shopify does have a lot of conversion data considering a lot, considering they have hundreds of thousands of e-commerce stores and a bunch of transactions going through their platform every day. So they have tailored the checkout page to where its conversion rate by default is going to be pretty high. So you pretty much just need to customize it a little bit to make it match your branding. And at that point you are good to go. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in another one.